Easy Kick ADA Syncs are available. So let's have a closer look at this assembly. To make it a little bit easier to see what I'm referring to, I've turned on my fill mode. So here, when I select one of my doors, I can make some modifications to the toe kick part that's been added that's attaching to the easy kick bracket through some part level attributes. Keep in mind this is controlled per door, so if I need to make some modifications, I'll need to do that on both doors. When I select my door, we'll see our hinge side inset. We can modify this. Our part height. This is calculating based off of what I've set my assembly toe height to be, and it's also allowing for a 1.5 mil reveal at the top. So if I modify this to be three inches, we'll notice that distance comes off the bottom. So you'll have to be careful that you don't make that too small that the bracket is exposed. You can also change the pull side inset as well. So that'll modify the reveal between our two parts. Again, this is controlled per door. And this is being generated by a UCS. So if we go to utilities and user created standards, and if we go to our easy kick UCS, you'll notice that it is locked. So you can't modify the UCS itself, but you can modify those attribute defaults through the public variables.